Hi friends, this is Dr. Nisha Vishnu, a radiation oncologist practicing at Max Clinic, Bangalore. This video is dedicated towards discussing the side effects of radiation therapy in head and neck cancers. Now, head and neck cancer means cancer of the mouth cavity or the tongue or the base of the tongue or the floor of the mouth or your voice box, we call it larynx or the pharynx which is the area behind the mouth and the voice box. Since all of them are adjacent to each other, uh, side effects are almost similar. Radiotherapy is used either as an adjunct to surgery or as a sole treatment modality towards curing your head neck cancer with or without chemotherapy. Of course, the more number of modalities used to treat more the side effects. Individualizing each situation is beyond the scope of this video, but I'll give you a gross picture of what to expect during the head and neck radiation therapy. The most common side effect is the change in the color of the skin coming under the irradiation fields. Usually, it includes a part which the cancer has arisen from or the whole or a part of your neck. Skin might become red or black, might peel off, sometimes exuding uh, secretions, especially around the folds. Even ulcerate, although ulcerations are rare nowadays. Another equally common side effect is mucositis, that is inflammation or painful reddening of your mouth or the tongue surfaces and even painful ulcerations and this is fairly common and the most nagging symptom of the head and neck cancer treatment. Other than the pain, uh, this leads to increased sensitivity towards spicy food and hence we refrain our patients from taking uh, spice in the food. Almost everything that your doctor prescribes will bring in only 60 to 80 percent of improvement in the discomfort and patience and reassurance that this shall pass once a radiation is over is very important. Mucositis even affects your food pipe and you can expect pain while swallowing as well. All these leads to decreased food intake and your doctor might ask or suggest you to change your diet from solid to semi-solid to liquid and even might ask you to get a feeding tube placed. Please be reassured that although the feeding tubes may sound very drastic, it is one of the safest medical procedures and you will get used to it in due course of time. It is important to know that feeding tubes can be life-saving during radiation because lack of proper nutrition not only will make you tired, depressed and irritable but could also cause suppression of your immunity, delay in healing process and can lead to life-threatening electrolyte imbalances. Hence, be a spot please when your doctor suggests a feeding tube. We also see some altered secretion patterns as an excessive or decreased salivation and dryness of the mouth and throat because of radiation affecting your salivary glands. This dryness can affect the bacterial clearance from your mouth cavity leading to dental caries and more complications. That is why most oncologists will send you to a dentist and get your tooth hygiene up to date before even proceeding with the uh, radiation therapy. Most of the above mentioned side effects are temporary and settles down eventually. Some take two weeks, others almost up to eight weeks to heal completely. But the dryness of the mouth, altered taste sensation and increased sensitivity to the spicy food has been seen to persist even for longer, uh, even a year or more in some patients. Patience is again very important. Please discuss with your radiation oncologist and they will help uh, you to tide over the issues. Depending upon you have which cancer, you can have varying amount of risk towards having voice change, cough, breathlessness, etc. Indirectly, the low nutrition and the suppressed immunity, improper swallowing leading to secretions, getting into the lungs, etc. can lead to infections in very rare cases. 
Few of my patients had to be admitted and managed in the wards with antibiotics and supportive care. But that's a very few uh, percentage of my patients. Generalized weakness or fatigue or altered blood counts, change in the mood, nausea, vomiting, etc. are not so uncommon in head and neck cancer treatments. As mentioned in my first video, these side effects are not all binding and what to be expected in your case, please discuss with your treating doctor.